Welcome back to the Crochet Kratos with my friends at Yarnspirations.com. Today is the Fire and Ice Poncho. I've been having my eyes on this for a while and I really want to film it to put it into my collection. So there are three sizes that are available to you in this one. We have the small to medium, we have the large and extra large, and then we have uh, the two extra large to three extra large. I am going to take you all the way to the three extra large size as we start here, but just know that when you are working on this kind of thing right here on the small to medium, once you are done this, it says proceed to the body section. So once you've done this for the small to medium, you just jump on over and you start here. Now with the large and extra large, you're gonna create round one and two and then proceed up here and then you go down here and then for the two to, uh, to three X here, once you get that done, you then proceed, which is gonna take you here. So I will, based on my community, based on sizing that I can see, I think that most people will want this larger size. So I will teach this today, but I will give you instructions on what you need to do in order to do that. So um, just keep in mind that round one here for the extra large and uh, large size here is slightly different than the two X and so on. So you can just follow those instructions here if you like that, but I'm gonna take you here. So this is using Red Heart, um, it's a wrap rainbow yarn, and this was using a four millimeter size G6 hook. On camera today, I'm just gonna be using some Karen Jumbo yarn with a five millimeter size H crochet hook, and it's just to keep it so that the colors don't change out on its own. So people get really frantic when the colors start changing. So without further ado, we're gonna just get ourselves into this and we're gonna get ourselves round and round, and let's begin to do this next. So for all sizes, the starting count is different for each. So the small size is 150 chains. The next size up is 176. And then the two to three extra large is um, 195. So what I would like you to do when you start this, just count out to 10 first. So just start chaining to 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. And the reason why I'm having you do this is that I want you to take it off the hook and I want you to put it into the beginning chain right here and leave that towards the closer end to your handle and then just keep on going. So 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. So either go to 150, 176 or 195 depending on your size. And then when you're ready for that, then you can just pull on through. So get that and because you've done this now, it will not, not allow your chain to twist. Please continue and I'll see you at the end of this chain. Now I've just chained 195 because I want to do the bigger size with you here on camera. So once I have that done, just yarn over and pull through and through. And because you left it on the hook, this chain will not be twisted. So because I did change the yarn and the hook size, this is massive. So make sure that you do honor the four millimeter size G6 and the Red Heart It's a Wrap rainbow yarn or equivalent yarn to that sizing in order to keep the sizing good. So I'm going to just bring you back to the instructions. Before you begin, I'm just putting the scissors here so I don't forget to put this in. I'm gonna lie to you in the first uh, one to three rounds, and I'm gonna say that you're gonna chain, uh, you're gonna single crochet in so many chains and then put two into the next one. And I said that that's a corner, it's not, it's just a growth. So sorry about that, it's just making the circle bigger. So we won't start the corners until we start doing the body. My apologies for that. So for those doing the small and medium size, you're just gonna chain one and in the beginning of the same stitch as the join, you're gonna single crochet in the first 14 chains, chain, or two single crochet in the next chain, and then repeat going around it. And so what you're doing is that you're starting to create the corners by putting this two single crochets into the same chain. So then once you have that done, you're going to then proceed to the body. So the body is all the same for everybody. It's just the stitch count is just going to be more stitches across each one of the corners. So for the large to exercise, or large and extra large, you're gonna chain one and you're gonna beginning in the same stitch as the join and you're gonna single crochet in each stitch around. So you're not gonna worry about a corner on the first time for there. Then in the round two, you're gonna chain one single crochet starting in the first one and do the first 10 and then two single crochets into the next 
uh, single crochet and then repeating that around. So that one is 10 instead of 14 like it was here. Then if you, and then you proceed to the body. For what I'm gonna be doing is that I'm gonna start you here with the, we're gonna chain one and we're gonna begin the single crochet the same as the joining and we're gonna single crochet then around and then we're gonna go step by step through these instructions on camera. So without further ado, let's begin to do that next. So round one on the two X to three X, you just chain one and in the same stitch as the join, you are just going to just do the back hump of the chain. It'll, it'll look nicer and you can keep an easier count as well. And you are just going to single crochet all the way around. So you don't gotta worry about any corners that are created within your poncho. Okay, so single crochet all the way around and meet you back here in just a moment. When you get back around, make sure that the top here, when you follow it, is still the top on this side to make sure that this is not twisted in any weird way. And you're just going to join it to the beginning single crochet, like so. So before you continue, absolutely verify. So once you join it, still just check it one more time and make sure that the top is still the same all the way around and we'll continue to round number two. So I just double checked again, I'm glad I did because I did have a weird twist to it. So I just had to follow it and make sure. So it's kind of cool. So let's begin to round number two next. Okay, round number two for the two X to three X. You're gonna chain up one and count the same one as the join as the first stitch. And so you're gonna single crochet into the first 12. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Once you have your twelve in, the next one will have two single crochets into the next. So you'll repeat that around to the next 12 and then two, the very last stitch before the join will have two into it because of that's where it should end. Please do this for round number two. I'm coming around here on round number two. I'm putting two into the last one because that's the right count. So there was 12 and then two, and then I'm gonna slip stitch to the beginning. We're gonna move on to round number three. Round number three is kind of unique on how it starts and then I'll share more with you when I get there. Round number three starts off uniquely and we're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet in the first 14. So we'll do that together. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So the next one will have two into the next. So here's the stitch count for the remaining of the round. It's slightly different. So you're gonna do 13 and then two into the next, 13 and then two into the next. You'll do that all the way around and then join me at the end of the round. Please do that now. So come around on round number three of the two X to three X size. We're now gonna to move to the body of it. And the first round of the body for all sizes is a different count. And we'll talk about those when we get there. And just For the body size, you're going to start off in chaining one and then put a single crochet, chain four, single crochet into the next stitch. Okay, this is gonna form your corner. Then the small size is that you're gonna single crochet 39. The next size up is 47. And then my size is gonna be 55 single crochets. And then you were going to start with the corner again. So single crochet, chain four, single crochet. So you're going to do this all the way around. And so right from this hyphen is the stitch counts per side that you will have when you go to do that. So that's something that you can keep in mind. So let's uh, do this all the way around for round number one and do the size that you need to do. And let's pick up on round number one. So round number one, you're gonna chain one and just this is considered the next stitch right here. And you're going to single crochet, chain four, and single crochet into the same stitch. That's your first corner. 
So you're now gonna start in the next stitch up and you are going to do either 39, 47, or 55 single crochets in a row. Then you'll do another corner, which is a single crochet, chain four, single crochet. And when you get all the way around, then um, you will end up back right here. So just uh, continue to do this now, single crochet the number that you need, and I'll see you at the end of this round, round number one. Now, when you get back around, you should have ended up in the even count. So in my case, it should have been 55, but I was an extra stitch, I don't know why. But what I've done is that I put two together and then I'm gonna slip stitch to the beginning. So it's perfect to always display perfect, but if you don't get perfect, you're like the rest of us, flawed. <laughs> so let's uh, go back to the diagram now and we're gonna start round number two in a second. On page number three of the pattern, we're gonna be picking up right here on this row here. This is an old schematic. You can see that the X's are actually older and it should be a plus sign in today's current um, way that we do our patterns. But we're picking up here so you can see that there's a chain four with the single crochets in the corners. And so the only difference is between all of the rounds and all of the different sizes is, is that the stitch counts are more or less. Okay, so the stitch count is the same going to each corner. So round number two, you're just gonna slip stitch to the corner. And then in this corner here, you're going to chain a total of four. And that'll count as a double crochet and a chain one space. So one, two, three, four. In the same corner here, apply another double crochet, chain one, and another double crochet right into that same corner. So all the corners of this particular one, except for the beginning here, are going to be a single crochet, chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet. To get out of a corner, you're going to chain one first, and you are going to go to the first single crochet after the corner here. So this, see how this is attached here? It's this one. And you're going to put in a double crochet there, and then you are going to chain one, skip one, and double crochet in the next. And you'll do this all the way to the corner. So you'll end up to the stitch just before the corner and then you'll chain one and then start a corner. So I will see you at the first corner to make sure that you're on track and I'll be right back. Coming to my first corner, I just chain one and I have to skip the one that's part of the corner right here. And I just go right into my corner. So it's gonna be double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And that allows you to turn, chain one again, skip the first one right that's part of that one and go right here and start doing the same thing all the way around. So double crochet, chain one, skip one and etc. Please do this around for round number two. I'm coming into my last stitch here. I'm gonna chain one and I'm, go you know how we chain four when we started? We're only gonna attach to the third chain up of that beginning one and that will finish round number two. We're gonna start round number three in a moment. Round number three, right where you're sitting, you need to get yourself to the center point of a corner. So you're sitting on the one side here, so you need to slip stitch on over till you get to the corners piece, to the corner stitch. And then that's where you're gonna start then round number three. So you'll chain four at this point, so one, two, three, four, and in the same stitch that you did, you're gonna do a, a double crochet, chain one, and then another double crochet. So the corner is exactly the same as you did before. You're gonna chain one, and you're gonna come to the next double crochet that you'll run into. It's still part of the corner, and you are going to double crochet into the double, chain one, skip the chain one space, and double into the double and I'll see you on the first corner. So you'll do this all the way around, but I'll see you on the first corner to make sure that you're going in and out of the corner perfectly. I'll be right back. So I'm chaining one, so I'm coming into my next corner. So I have my three that make up this corner. So after I chain one, I'm gonna come into the first double, chain one, and then the middle one of the corner is the next one, and a new corner has to go here. So it has to be a, a double chain one, a double, chain one, and a double. And then to get out of the corner, chain one, and then move to your next 
double crochet and double, chain one, skip over it and do the next double. So do this all the way around for round number three. Coming around on round number three, I'm just gonna chain one after the last double crochet is in, and I've already slip stitched here, if you recall when I started. So I'm going to go to the third stitch or the third chain up on the beginning. And then we're going to begin round number four. Now we use video chapters and the video chapters allow you to scroll backward. And so if you go into the video description or the pinned comment, rounds number four through 10 is the repeat until the very edge. So we're about to start the repeating section that will take you all the way to the end. Here on the diagram, rounds number four through 10, so all the way from here to here is the repeat pattern until you get to the size that you need. So we're going to start with uh, round number four and then five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Once you're done that, then you start again on round number four through 10 until you get to the size that you need. And we'll talk about that after we get this section done. So let's begin on to round number four. Round number four. You're going to slip stitch into the next chain one space that's part of the corner, and it's the first space that is part of that corner. And then you're going to chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. That counted as a double crochet and a chain five space. You're gonna come into the very next space that's still part of that corner, and you're gonna do the following. You're going to double crochet first, chain one, double crochet again, chain one, double crochet again, chain one, and double crochet again. So you should see four double crochets complete in that same space. You're now ready to jump down the side. So go down the side. So when you start, you're going to chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And look for the amount of spaces that you need to jump. So see, there's a space. So one, two, three. So you have to skip the equivalent of three spaces. And then in the fourth space, you're going to come in and do the following. It's exactly what you just did in this space here. So it'll be a double crochet. Chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. And then how many do you need to count to get to the next space that you need to move? It's five. So it's one, two, three, four, five and you're going to skip three spaces. So starting in the next one, one, two, three, go to the fourth space and then do your double crochet. Chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one and double crochet. And then you'll chain five again and then jumping your spaces and etc. So I'll see you at the first corner to make sure you're turning properly and I'll be right back in a moment. So let's make sure you're about to turn the corner properly. So I have my last one in here. I'm gonna chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. And if I skip three spaces, I should end up in the first space of the corner. Right there, right? So then you're going to do the same thing there. So it's gonna be a double crochet. Chain one, double crochet. Chain one, double crochet chain one and double crochet so you got your four in there and from this point here you need to chain a total of five again so one two three four five and then jump to the next space on the same corner and do the same thing so when we started the very first one when we chained eight it was this one right here plus those five so we're going to start again so the double crochet chain one double crochet chain one, double crochet, chain one, double crochet. So then the corner is officially turned and then you chain five. So one, two, three, four, five, and then count starting in the next space. So miss the next three. So one, two, three, go to the fourth and start all over again. Coming around on number four, 
you've got your chain five and you're gonna come into this here. So you're still skipping your three and you're coming here, but you already have the one double crochet already done when you started. So you'll have to double crochet, chain one, double crochet, chain one and double crochet chain one and you'll attach it then to the third chain up so you should be able to count five empties and go to the third chain up and then move on to your next round let's begin the next round now round number five is going to be a very quick round and you're going to slip stitch to the chain five space first and then in this space you need to chain a total of Round number five is gonna be a very quick round. And the first thing you need to do is that you need to um, slip stitch into this chain five space. Chain one and then single crochet into the same space. You're then going to chain four to turn the corner. So one, two, three, four. And then in the same space, single crochet. So that's what your corners, so all your corners are going to be a single crochet, chain four, single crochet into the corner, chain five space. To keep on moving on this thing, you're going to chain two coming out of a corner. And you are going to go to the middle one. See how there's groups of four? Just go into the middle space. And in the middle space, you need to double crochet. Chain three. And double crochet. So when you're not in one of these big shells, what you're going to do then is just to chain two, one and two, and single crochet right around the space. So then chain two and come into the next group. It's the middle space of the grouping of four. So you're going to put in a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. So to come out of there, you need to chain two, single into the next space, chain two, and then go to the middle one again and double crochet, chain three, double crochet. I'll see you in the first corner to make sure that you're turning properly and I'll be right back. Come into any one of the corners. So I've just now done the single crochet around the space, chain two, come to the middle space of the group and you are going to double crochet, chain three, and double crochet. And then because we're in this space here, we're gonna chain two, and then go right to the corner. So it'll be a single crochet, chain four, and single crochet, and then start with fresh with another side. So chain two, Okay, come to the middle space, double, chain three, and double, and then keep moving on. So then chain two, single into the space, chain two, and then come into the middle one again, double crochet, chain three, double crochet. Please do this around for round number five. Coming around in the end of number five, and I'm just putting in my double crochet there. So that was in the middle space. And then when you come out of here, you just chain two and then slip stitch it to the first single crochet to complete this round. Let's move on to round number six. Round number six. Right where you're sitting, just move yourself by a slip stitch to the chain four uh, space. And now you're gonna chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And in the same space right here, you are going to double crochet. So that chaining eight counted as a double crochet and then a chain five space. So this is what it looks like. So from here, you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and single into the next single right down here. 
So here's the repeat pattern then to get to the next corner. And I'll see you on the next corner to show you how to turn just to make sure. But we're gonna start off and you're gonna chain three. So one, two, three. And in the middle, uh, right here, you're going to double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and double crochet again. Then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and single into the next single right here. I'll show you one more repeat of that before I get you to the first corner. So to start another repeat, you're going to chain three to start, come into the middle right here, double crochet, chain five, and then double crochet in, chain three, and single into the next single. So do this all the way across. I'll see you on the first corner to make sure you're turning properly. And I'll be right back. So I'm coming up to my corner. So you've just gone into the space. I've chained three. So I'm going to single into the one just before the corner space. And then I am going to chain three. And then in the same corner space, double crochet. Chain five to turn. So one, two, three, four, five, and then double crochet back into that corner space. And before you're done that, chain three and single into the next single that's still part of that corner space. Okay, so that's how you turn the corner. So then you'll start again. So you'll start by chaining three, come to the next space right here, and so you'll double chain five and double and then chain three and single into the next single. Please do this all the way around for this round and I'll be right back. Coming back around on this round, you're just gonna, I've got my last one in here. I'm gonna chain three and then I got a single crochet down in the connection where this comes out of. This is where we started. So a single crochet down there and then chain three and then we have to then single crochet up here to the third chain up okay so one two three and that will complete this so listen i'm, I'm about to run out of yarn uh, for this uh, particular color so i'm going to switch off in the next round you'll see a different color but it's still the same pattern let's continue to lucky round number seven Moving on to round number seven. Now I did finish here, as I promised, I'm changing out my yarn. So you would just technically just start and you would chain one. And then in here, you're going to put in five single crochets. So in my case, because I'm changing the yarn, I'm just going to attach into that same space, chain one, and then I'm gonna put in my five single crochets. So we have one, two, three, four, and five. We're then going to just play within the tops of what we have here. See how they're separated like here? So you wanna play here and you wanna jump over these guys here. So when you're going to start out, then you're going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. We jump this and just go into the top section right here and put in five. So we have one, two, three, four and five and then we chain four again so one two three four and then we come on over and just jump just kind of just follow it up you can see it where you need to go okay so up here there's gonna be five so what i'll do is i'll meet you on the first corner to make sure that you're going in and out of the corner properly and i'll be right back in a moment I'm about to hit the first corner right here. So I've now got my five here. So I'm just going to chain four and then just go right into the corner piece itself and just put five in there and that'll automatically turn. So one, two, three, four, five, 
four, and five, and then start at a fresh side again. And you're gonna do this all the way around. So you'll jump by ch chaining four, one, two, three, and four, and then come into the top right here and put five singles in there. And please do this all the way around for this round. I'll be right back in a moment. Okay, and coming up on the round, I just have to chain four. So one, two, three, four, and join it to the first single crochet that I started with. Okay, so let's move on to your next round. Okay, round number eight is a nice easy round and it's easy to remember. So in the corners, they're unique and we'll handle that. So we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna single crochet just in the first two alone. Remember that there's five single crochets that make up a corner. So we're gonna single crochet just the first two. And once you have that done, you just need to chain five. So one, two, three, four, five, and skip the middle one, which is the third one in, and just do the other two that are left. Okay. Just like that. So you end up with a gap like that. So now what you're going to do So starting your next round, you want to begin by chaining one and you're going to single crochet the first two. So one and two. And the third one in is the middle one of a corner. So you're going to skip that and just chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. So you're skipping that one and just do the other two on the other side. So whenever you have a corner, that's what you're going to do. So this one's really easy to remember. These chain four spaces are going to be each four single crochets in each of those spaces. So we have one, two, three, and four. And then you have your five that are in these. So there's just gonna be one into each one of those. So one, two, three, four, and five. And do you really need to count it? No, not really, you just gotta fill it in. So these ones, the spaces are just gonna have four singles. So one, two, three and four, and then just jump and then do one in each of these five. I'll see you on the first corner to make sure you're turning properly. My corner is coming up really shortly, so I'm in the space before the corner, so there's just four singles into the space. And remember, there's five single crochets that make up the corner space. So in the corner here, you're going to just do the first two and then chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Skip the next one and just do the other two. And then your corner is maintaining like that. And you'll do that every time you have a corner. And then you'll carry on down the side. So four into the space, so one into each of these and etc. Please do this around. Completing this round, I'm just putting my four singles into the last chain four space. And then I am just going to slip stitch it to the first single crochet that we started with. And then we're gonna move on and then we're going to do the next round next. In the next round, we have to get ourselves to this chain five space. So right where we are sitting, you're just going to slip stitch yourself over to get yourself to the space. And then from here, you're going to chain a total of four. So one, two, three, four. That counted as a double crochet and a chain one space. Then you're going to double crochet again into that same space, chain one, and then double crochet one more time into that space. And then chain one. So when you leave the corner here, you are going to go into this single crochet right here. It's the first one. And you are going to double crochet in and then chain one, skip one, and double crochet into the next. You've done this before, way back here. Okay, so then chain one, skip one, 
and double into the next. I'll meet you on the first corner to make sure you're doing this properly. I'll be right back. Coming into the one just before the corner and then chain one and then you do your corner the same. So you do a double, chain one, double, chain one and double chain one and then you come into the one right after the corner double chain one and skip one and etc please do this all the way around for this round once you get back around just chain one after the last double it's in the last one before and then we came out of here we slip stitched if you remember and then we did the chain four so you're going to go and attach to the third chain the third chain of the four to complete that round. We're gonna move on to your final round of the repeat next. Round number 10 is your final of the repeat. It's exactly what you did here. So that we're going to begin and we're going to chain a total of four. So one, two, three, four. So that one's sitting on top of this one here. In the middle one right here, you're going to apply a corner Let's move on to your final round. We're sitting on here. We need to get ourselves to the middle one of the corner. So just slip stitch over and over to get yourself to a corner. And this is where your journey begins. You're gonna chain four. One, two, three, four. That counted as a double crochet and a chain one space. In the same one, which is the middle one, you're going to double crochet again, chain one and double crochet one more time and then chain one. And now you're just gonna follow this around. So going right here is your first stitch out. So you're double crochet on top of the double, chain one, skip the space and double on top of the double. Okay, chain one, double on top of the double. I'll see you on the first corner to make sure you're turning properly in just a moment. So coming into my next corner, chain one, I'm gonna go right into the double here chain one, come to the middle one, and then create a new corner completely. So it's gonna be a double, chain one, double, chain one, and double all into the same. Chain one to finish that, and then move down the next side. So just jump on to the next double, chain one, and double into the double, and chain one. Do this around for this final round number 10. Yes, I'm coming back around and I'm just filling in my spaces as I have them. Chain one, and then I'm going to join to the third chain up of the beginning chain four. Now this is the end of the repeat, so we're gonna talk about what to do next because we have to do this, um, these rows several times over and over. We're gonna go back to the pattern and then do the final edging with you on camera. In this video, we use video chapters, and so you can find that in the video description, and you will see rounds number four through 10 in time markers. You can click those and then just go through it over and over. So you need to make sure that rounds number 11 to 31 is repeating four to 11, uh, 10 three times, and that just gets you to where you need to go, and therefore you'll be at the end of number 31 at that time. So just go back to number four through 10 and do that three times. We're then going to move on to the final edge. I'm going to just draw it out for myself to make sure I understand, and I'll be right back in a moment. When you're ready for the final edging, it's actually pretty simple. This so let's begin. You're just going to slip stitch yourself to this. So this will be the end of number 31. So this is uh, round number 10, and you're just going to slip stitch over and then chain three. So one, two, three counts as your first double crochet and put three more double crochet into that same spot. You were then going to chain two and because you're in the corner, you're gonna come on to the other side. So skip the middle one and come on to the other side and do four double crochet. The secret number is four. So the chain three plus the three equals four. And then there's four double crochets on this side. You're then going to chain two. You're gonna skip the first chain one 
right here, come to the second and you're just going to slip stitch to hold it down. Chain two, you're going to skip the next one and come right here and you're going to put four double crochet in there. So we have one, two, three, and four. Chain two, skip the next empty one, come to the second one, slip stitch to hold it down. Chain two, skip the next one and put four double crochets into the next. I'll see you on the first corner to make sure that you're turning properly and I'll be right back in a moment. So I'm coming up to my first corner. If your spaces are not spaced properly, I would say to myself at this at this point, to Wanda, <laughs> and just fill it in. Uh, there's really no crochet police as far as I know because I'd already be arrested. So I'm going to skip the next space, go into the space just before the turn of the corner and put in four double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and because this is a corner, just chain two, and then just jump to the other space on the other side. So we have one, two, three, four, and then start a fresh side. So you're just gonna chain two, skip the first space, slip into the next, chain two, skip the next space, go to this one, and then put four double crochet into that. And you're gonna do the same thing around. Please do this for your final round of the edge. So coming back around, you're just filling it in. So you're, you're slipped in, you're just gonna chain two and then slip to the top of the first chain three. And that's it. And you just weave in your ends and you're good to go. And this would be how you would create this fire and ice poncho. That's it for today. We hope you enjoy.